Sometimes there's just too much beauty in the world. I uh, scouted uh, this tree out um, about a couple of hours ago, thought it would be a nice subject, so I thought I'd go that way a bit, or maybe that way a bit, but <laughs> I've just noticed that the uh, this telephone cable or power cable is casting a shadow and it will probably reach the bottom of the tree and interrupt the uh, the composition so I don't know what to do now <laughs> I, feel, I feel as all wasting my time so I'll just uh, have a think about it and see what else I can take around here here's a tip always make sure your tripod legs are tight when you put them on your rucksack I'm trying to get the tree below the fell, so if I get too close of it, it encroaches on the blue sky. Oh well, find another place to shoot. Well, I don't know why I'm taking this picture because it just merges into the background because of lack of contrast because the sun's almost directly behind us. What was I thinking? This tree just completely merges into the background. I don't know why you photographed it. Well, what I'm trying to do is, I've taken a, a portrait version of this tree here with sort of these at the edge, the limit, so like that and then sort of off by about there, off by the bottom 
cut the top down. Also, there's um, a telegraph pole you can just see behind this tree here. Um, I've masked it off on the with the main trunk, but it is protruding out at the back there. I couldn't get rid of that, so I'll have to clone that out. And also these wires, because wherever you go, there's always a telegraph pole. All gone a bit hazy all of a sudden. I think uh, it might be cooling down. So I'm going to go and find somewhere else to shoot. I uh, think I've got another 15 minutes. Yeah, I think I've got another 15 minutes before the sun goes behind the, the mountain in the background. So I'll see what's on the path on the way back to the car. Well, I haven't got far. I've just come about uh, 20 yards up the hill and I've concentrated on photographing this tree again. So this time there's a barn on that side and the church on that side. And I've taken it uh, with the polarizer on and I've taken a portrait version and a landscape version the landscape I'll probably have to crop to square because of uh, that pole there and clone out some wires along here. So that's what I'm up to. <laughs> and hopefully it'll turn out all right. But I think I'm just trying to create something out of this. You know, I've, I haven't got gone far today and I thought, yeah, I'll just try and make an image out of this since it's nice weather. And uh, this is when you should always like uh, have something in the bag to photograph, you know, something you've actually um, planned out in advance. But I didn't want to go far from the car because I've got, uh, was it, tendonitis. That means inflammation of the sheath that surrounds my Achilles tendon. So it's aching. And the um, the exercises to correct it have made my other foot hurt. <laughs> so I'm hobbling around like an old man. What do you mean I am old? How dare you? Please like and subscribe so I can buy myself a Zimmer frame.
Well, as you can see, the light is fading, but it seems to be uh, highlighting that tree in the middle. So I'm just going to keep on taking a few shots. I think that's nearly gone now. Last shot. I'll leave it to the time lapse of it. The darkness consuming the landscape. <laughs> Well, it wasn't worth cloning out that telegraph pole and the wires. It was just too much hard work for such a mediocre photograph, so I haven't bothered on this one. Well, I've come down to Howtown Bay. As you can see, it's almost dark. And what I'm trying to do is photograph these boats here and that one there. Uh, but I keep swinging around, so um, I've put the ISO up to 800, which is the most acceptable one I'm willing to go. Well, I might go to 1,000 after that gets too grainy on this camera. And just taking shots as and when the boats are in the right position. And here we are, completely over-processed. This is a problem with uh, all the sensors. They just don't have the information in them at higher ISO. Well, I had another bash at it, but I still couldn't get the separation in the trees while retaining all the colours. So, what do you think of this? Which do you prefer? Do you prefer the first one or the second version of this?